Dr. Wakefield, you know, we are dealing with severe long-term problems, a uh, pattern of health care facilities that are so, so substantial in terms of the, 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 the failures that uh, CMS and another agency in your department have actually terminated its provider agreement with one of the IHS facilities. Other facilities are in jeopardy as well. Um, you're a registered nurse, a fellow of the American Academy of Nursing. You're dean of the School of Rural Health, University of North Dakota. You've been part of the administration for, for the, since uh, Senator Dorgan had the first hearing on this. I just want to know what we're going to do to fix this problem at the Great Plains area, both short term, long term, and what assurances can you give us that in five years we're not going to be in the same situation with the same problems identified again? Thank you for that question, Senator. I, um, I, I would say a couple of things. First of all, in terms of short-term uh, strategies, uh, Mr. McSwain and the IHS team are working uh, uh, now immediately with assistance from our Commission Corps to turn the circumstances around in those three hospitals. It is our expectation that that work uh, is done as effectively and as efficiently as possible. It's underway now. That's short term. Uh, longer term, we have two strategies that we are implementing. Uh, one of them we've already, of course, started implementing, and that is to markedly strengthen the priority focus on quality in the IHS, beginning with the leadership of IHS. And thus, you heard me talk about the expertise brought uh, into that part of the agency. That is the head of the age at the uh, helm of the agency on the executive team, with a, um, a, 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 a specific. Um, uh, priority, as I mentioned, placed on quality improvement and with expertise and with a plan to do that work that has been informed by consultation with tribes and also uh, informed by uh, 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 features of that plan having already been implemented in the Phoenix area as well as uh, in, uh, uh, the Montana, in the Billings area. Secondly, we are also uh, convening an executive council at uh, HHS at the request of Secretary Burwell uh, to focus our uh, assets across HHS from parts of the agency that have uh, uh, resources devoted to this particular population to uh, drive and leverage an agenda on quality improvement forward. Uh, Andy mentioned uh, CMS's role briefly in that effort. Uh, so that's the second part of our uh, strategy. But first, to strengthen IHS. Secondly, to uh, uh, advance this agenda with the assets across HHS. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We had listening sessions with tribal members, uh, you know, in the region, on the ground, visiting with people specifically. I mean, we got an earful. Uh, tribal members have told the committee staff that there is a pervasive employee intimidation, there's retaliation, nepotism uh, at every level of the Indian Health Service, that the employees are afraid to report their concerns, afraid to be honest and forthcoming when surveyors visit, told not to speak with members of Congress or their staff or anyone else who might be able to help improve the conditions. Uh, you know, the, the doctors and nurses, they tell us, are afraid because they're threatened repeatedly and directly and even openly. I mean, it was just, it was astonishing the sort of things that they came back and said, this is what we heard on the ground. Their families are denied health care, reputations are dragged through the mud. They try to do something right to protect patients and report criminal activity. They feel that they're ostracized, mm -hmm. pushed out. And I just want to make sure you're completely aware of that and what we're going to do about this culture of harassment that seems to exist in the Indian Health Service. Uh, so our goal is to uh, uh, deliver high quality, consistent uh, care. We have to have providers that are on the front lines, administrators on the front lines that share that commitment. Most of the providers that are in the field uh, are absolutely committed to delivering high quality care, as are the administrators. We have bright spots in the Great Plains area. We do. We've got great providers in the Great Plains area. We also need to strengthen our management along the lines of what you just indicated. Mary Smith, as I mentioned, has joined us. That is her priority one of her priorities uh, 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 on the executive team of HHS. She brings experience in that area in management and operations, and it is a focus for us. Um, 